A collection of Kim Whitby's fine art paintings adorn the Guildhall Cafe. A figurative artist, Kim's paintings are inspired by rural Hampshire and include a panoramic view of considerable length. I'm very, very lucky to get my painting on a wall that is long enough to actually display it. Uh, this is the Guildhall Cafe in Portsmouth and they have uh, an association with the Aspects Gallery in, in Portsmouth also, which support new and emerging artists and I'm a member of, of Aspects. The painting depicts the view around the former naval airbase HMS Daedalus near Leon Solent and it was the inspiration for Kim's exhibition completing a fine art masters as a mature student. Halfway through my master's degree at Aberystwyth University, my husband, who was a serviceman, came home and said that he had a new job in Portsmouth. So we relocated, and having relocated, I was very taken with the local geography. And this is a, a long panoramic painting because the fence line around HMS Daedalus is very, very long. And uh, that was what inspired me, the barrier that it formed between us and the uh, field itself. Um, so I've worked that in a series of smaller paintings which fit together to make a long panoramic. And they're all devised around a square and multiples of a square. Um, and uh, it's like a little bit like a piece of music. You read it in sections and it's broken up with trees and broken up with fence posts. The body of work formed part of Kim's MA and is accompanied by large ink drawings and smaller artworks. This was a crucial part for my MA because it really instilled upon me what my, st my process was. So I have a great deal of sketchbooks that they evolved into this panoramic painting. Um, it was composed in a sketchbook and then painted and then from that I made a painted book, like an artist's book, which is very long and difficult to display. And from that it evolved again into a drawn book. Um, and again, that's very difficult to display, so we have the painting here. Um, but it's a really crucial part of my process and I now understand that I just need to work in special and historic locations and, and see what, what happens. My MA finished about three years ago and it's been a real exciting time since then. I have been a finalist in the Sunday Times of Watercolour competition and the Cuffey and Williams Drawing Prize, which was work from when I did uh, my final exhibition for my Masters on board HMS Victory. Uh, last summer I was a winner in an outdoor painting competition in London called Pintar Rapido, so I was delighted to win that. I've also been doing some very exciting work with Hampshire Cultural Trust. Uh, that started last summer when I was hosted at Ashcroft Arts Centre in Fairham during Hampshire Open Studios and from that I was invited to help them with a project whereby they commission artists across the county to respond to their collections. I've been very lucky and I've worked at Jane Austen's House Museum um, and also I had a small little bit of time working at Burzold and Windmill um, and some of those paintings are going to be uh, merchandised later in the year. Last year, Kim was selected as a wildcard competitor in Sky's reality TV show, Landscape Artists of the Year. She finished as a finalist with a medal and feels not actually winning has spurred her on. I think uh, just slightly missing out on lots of things in life is very inspiring. You can just, um, you can feel that you've almost got there but not quite and I think that keeps you motivated and keeps you uh, trying to work hard and, and, and keeps you focused. And it's not just art that's the only string to Kim's bow, as prior to her fine art MA, Kim was a primary school teacher for many years. I still do a little bit of supply teaching and uh, some people might have seen me in the Leon Solent area. Um, and I also teach quite a lot of adults now, so I've been teaching um, in London at the Art Academy there, uh, watercolour, and I also teach in, in Hampshire. So uh, maybe I'll see some people in some of my classes. The HMS Daedalus Art Exhibition will be on show until the 2nd of June. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.